All right, so for this problem, the domain's a little bit more limited because we got a coefficient in front of x of 3, which makes it a shorter cycle. Um, so y equals this. So we want to solve for y again to find the inverse. So I'm going to do cosine of 3y is equal to x divided by negative 2. And then I'm going to have... 3y is equal to inverse cosine of negative x over 2. Um, because it's negative x over 2, um, and then divide through by 3. So ultimately what we're going to end up with is um, 1 third inverse cosine of x over 2. Uh, cosine's an even function, so you can just, well, I guess you can get rid of it. I'll just leave it in there. It's not going to hurt anything. So here's our inverse function. OK, um, what's going to happen next is um, let me use the internal portion here to find out, to go ahead and find my range. So the range is going to be equal to from, so normally negative one to one, uh, x over two. And this kind of backs up the point of, uh, so if you multiply both sides by uh, negative two, you get two and then it switches the sign and you pretty much end up with uh, what you would normally have like this. Okay, so here's here's the um, range. And then the domain, they already stated that to me. That's it. All right, I hope that helps.